Hey guys, Crystal Daz and Hobbs here bringing another weekly Brutal Mutation. Uh, this week we've got Conflaguration, I think is how to pronounce it. Uh, go oh, ahead and go hit what? Go ahead and hit start. Uh, we got Walking Infested, Alien Incubation, and Scorched Earth. Uh, walking Infested, uh, Infested Civilians come at you the whole game. Uh, outbreak, enemies spawn from enemy units when they die. I'm sorry, I got those two mixed up. And Scorched Earth, uh, fire spawns the base of enemies when they die. So, yeah. Fun mission. Unflagration. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I so, thought it was yeah. flagration at first, without, you know, looking at it again. Yeah, you know, I just thought it was conflagration, but I may, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Anyway, um, there's no you. We do not have much time Strategy this game. Kirax defend, Nova snipe it's crashers, Nova begun. use hunter seeker but missiles, Nova destroy all defeat. enemies, uh, Nova get buffed by Kirax, and Kirax defend everything that Nova is at, so... Me. Uh, we did it pretty well. Uh, Our structure should now operate at a greater I'm gonna keep this on Hobbs' view for most of the game since he did most of the work and watching Kerax is boring as, uh, yeah, so. Watching paint dry. Pretty much. I mean, I'll, I'm just orbital striking the whole game, dealing with all the waves and any enemies that need to be dealt with, so. Uh, for the most part, Hobbs is, in, Hob, Hobbs is the leader of this show, this game, so. We're gonna go ahead and stick with him on this, so. SCV ready. So I guess while we're waiting for the first wave, uh, strategy, AOE, 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 area of effect is your friend on this, because every time an enemy dies, tons of broodlings spawn, and you need to deal with a lot of broodlings, so, yeah, Nova Shotgun, Phoenix Colossi, Kerrigan, Ultra Muta, stuff like that, AOE is your friend. The right. is really good here, too. The Haka might be better than Nova. Against most comps, so I'd probably agree with that. Yep. Fun fact, we actually did this recording once and I figured out what's wrong with my mic because uh, we were recording and Hobbs' voice didn't come through, so this is our second time doing this recording on this replay. Thank goodness we save them now, so... <laughs> So we do let a couple of civilians get through a little bit early, but oh well. Anyway, we were facing Sky Terran. Um, the enemy has mobilized. We should move to intercept. In regards to enemy waves, the higher tier waves like Sky Terran uh, are actually better than low tier waves like Ground Zerg. Uh, because the less enemies that you have, even if they're higher tier, the less enemies, the less broodlings, the less fire. So, high-tech waves are your friend. Sky Toss and Sky Terran are actually some of the easier ones on this because of how few broodlings they spawn. Base. And you'll notice that they're getting in pretty early just from killing them, so... Now back to it. I'm trying to remember all the points... Mining through fire. Yep. I'm trying to remember all the points that we talked about on our first recording. Add-ons ready. Allies oh, stuff worked properly. Yep. Hey now. SCV ready. Upgrade complete. SCV ready. <laughs> that rock has three HP left. <laughs> All right. Encountering Terran combat. Hops being uber careful, and I'm being uber conservative because we don't want to lose our units, and I don't want to run out of energy because you're gonna need them both this game. Search and create units much more quickly now. Add-on complete. You upgrade complete. Hops rushed starport out pretty early this game, so he gets up to seven ravens, which pretty much lets him survive fire without taking much damage at all. So. CB ready. 
And for those of you wondering why it's so quiet most of the time, I do have my background music disabled you while in game, so that's why it doesn't seem as eventful as normal games, so. Our defenses are proving effective. Soon the temple will be ready. These Vikings troll Nova. They lift off right before the bomb goes off. <laughs> Those bastards taking out my healing drone. Right. It seems the nearby Xenostones are becoming volatile. It is unfortunate, but it may be prudent for us to destroy them. So yeah, not much to say about the beginning. We're doing pretty well so far. We've got the first Thrasher, got the first bonus. Moving on to early mid game now. So more turrets found. Definitely additional turrets found. We have two more Zenith stones to address. I am activating Chrono Boost now. That should greatly increase the output of our structures. Upgrade complete. Upgrade. Upgrade complete. And here's all the broodlings that come swarming in. <laughs> They're like hungry, hungry hippos. Yep. At this point, I realized that uh, two shield batteries ain't gonna cut it. You'll notice the energy on them is just dead, so... I go up to about four, and then six, and then eight later, so... Upgrades ready. Use it well. Warning. Hybrid detected. I see. We will have to be careful. Upgrade complete. Very, very nice micro with Nova there. Just pop in and pop back out. Base is in danger. Help out. Very liberal use of the uh, rip and strike. I think that helps a lot versus the Rubens. This this part impressed me, Ops. Calling in all the ravens. <laughs> Pop a couple ravens, pop a couple missiles, boom, wave dead. Beautiful, beautiful. That's the type of play I like to see. Yeah, well, Hobbs is uh, doing that. This is what my defensive setups look like. I'm pretty much going to be doing this all game long. I'm just going to add some monoliths and stuff to them, and uh, Hobbs is going around dealing with all this stuff. So uh, we've pretty much got this game in the bag at this point. So it does get a little bit more hectic here in a bit, but for now we're good. The temple is halfway toward activation. Maintain our defenses, Commanders. 
Is this the nasty wave that hurts my FPS? Uh, maybe. I am activating Chrono Boost now. Yeah. No. Beautiful. That's how we do it. bombarding the temple. You must end its assault. All right. So at this point, uh, I put three observers around the map at the uh, crasher spawn points. A little bit of ways so they can't kill them. Seems like we can use a defensive drone. Nice dude got half the wave out of the way. So yeah, I put observers around so Nova can teleport pretty easily. Uh, helps out Hobbs. Hunter Seeker Missile, or the Raven Seeker Missile neutralized by Kirax. It's level 15 ability there, so... Nova and Kirax, they just work so well together. Well, Nova doesn't benefit Kirax, but Kirax just makes Nova true beast. It's beautiful. It so brings a tear to my eye. It does, it brings a tear to my eye. It pains me to see the Zeta stones destroyed, but it had to be done. Confirmed. The objective has fallen. Enemy drop pods incoming. Help out! Amon has summoned a Void Thrash. It will severely harm the temple for as long as it lives. Griffin's ready for boarding. Signature detected. Hybrid. Warriors, stay on guard. They've engaged our forces. Ooh, now engagements. They're striking our allies' base. That was a beautiful timing, too. Half of those uh, medevacs were over the void, so they didn't spawn through things and only got a couple of them, so that was nice. Your Hunter Seeker missile play is just beautiful, dude. It's a thing of beauty. It is a thing of beauty. And use the siege tanks just because that yep. hot king. Eh, they help out with that wave a little bit later. Upgrade complete. Yeah, I think you get seven ravens by the end of this. Hybrid detected. If we work together, they should not be too serious of a threat. Which is just insane for Nova. <laughs> Upgrades ready. Use it well. This is the way that starts killing my computer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know, you with the nice 40 FPS. 60 Not my fault my computer's a potato. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is your fault. Yeah, probably. Amon is assailing the temple with a Void Thrasher. It has to be eliminated. Eyes up, our ride's here. I did. 
This just became considerably more difficult. Upgrade complete. Upgrades ready. Use it well. Yeah, as you can see, that's a little bit taxing on our APM right there. We're both at like 300 for that part. Avoid Crash's death has been confirmed. They've engaged our forces. Ooh, I love engagements. I do enjoy uh, the Mirahong uh, announcer little whips at each other. <laughs> Did you buy that one? No, I'm just listening to it with... Uh, through your, uh, I, I get when I'm on your view, I can hear what you what you heard during the game. So, still waiting for the Steve Goff announcer. I don't it? know if they'll ever do that. I wish they Why would. Not? I'd buy that one. So would I. What's hurting your Goliath? The temple's activation is nigh. Nothing. Continue our defenses, commanders. It is almost time. Stand firm, my warriors. Not much time remains. So, this wasn't a perfect run. A couple enemies did damage the temple. It was mostly the thrashers, so... It's more the thrashers. Yeah, I don't think any enemies got through the defense, though, so... So I just used Kirags to deal with the small fry, so he can go straight for the thrasher and nail it. And he'll teleport down to the bottom one, nail that one, and it's GG. Or turns him. Our allies base is in People base. really, I, I've played with a lot of Novas, and very few utilize Nova's abilities to their full extent, as well as you do. So. I still have to practice, uh, um, being, using like I'm primary uh, air, yeah. I don't use I don't use liberators that much. Oh, that nuke was just oh delicious. I like how you had to use a Gripper and Strike to deal with the broodlings from that. <laughs> well, I kind of just used it without thinking. I didn't even need it. Yep. Well, it helped with those broodlings. Goliath's not good. A, not good AOE. <laughs> Could now operate at a greater efficiency. They're striking our allies' base. Oh, my poor potato computer. <laughs> Can't look at that giant fireball. No. It doesn't like it. Allies base is going up in smoke. Yep, seven yep, ravens. Seven Which... <laughs> Jinx, man. <laughs> Another brawl begins. With seven ravens, you could probably just sit in the scorched earth and laugh at it. Probably. Our allies base no matter how big the fireball is. I didn't realize that the Raven's healing drone stacked. Oh yeah, they do. Huh. So it can heal the same unit with two different ones. It can. It's just kind of a waste. Yeah, I guess. Fair enough. Anyway, uh, that's GG. Uh, AoE is good on this. Karax is okay. Swan is better if you're good with him. I suck with Swan. Uh, but if you're good with Swan, he's better at defending against uh, Infested than Karax is. Uh, other than that, just use AoE commanders. Uh, I think that's all I got to say. Any closing thoughts, Hobbs? Needs more turret spam. Turret spam, AoE. You heard it here, folks. Have a good one. See you next week. Bye bye. You know, I gotta say...